Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim episode. Today we're going to introduce new players to farming. You're going to be planting carrots and turnips and this is going to give you some food and if you're new to Valheim, food's basically armor. First things first, let's make sure we have the required materials. You'll need five bronze, five core wood, you'll also need a forge so that you can build a cultivator. Now, once you have your cultivator, we're ready to go find some seeds. So first we'll be heading off into the black forest and then to the swamp. And we're in the black forest now. And I'm looking for some flowers, some little white flowers. And eventually, ha! <laughs> You will find the flowers. See? Carrot seeds. If you go up to them and loot them, you'll get three carrot seeds from each flower that you loot. I recommend that you find around nine, but technically you could start with three. That's the minimum. Conveniently, as you can see off in the distance there, is a swamp. We got nine of the carrot seeds, but I don't blame you if you only get three of the turnip seeds because running around in the swamp in basic gear can be a little bit more intimidating. That being said, let's try our luck here. We're looking for some yellow flowers this time. Here's a bigger swamp. We should have some luck. Uh, whenever you're running into the swamp, make sure that you're rested and that you just made it daytime because you really don't want to be running around in the swamp at- No! Wow, okay, at night. <laughs> Here's the turnip seeds that we we're talking about. There you go. Nice. That was really lucky. I thought I'd have to explore more than that. Sometimes it can take a while to find them. Other times you get lucky, just like that. You can even find a really- Whoa, abomination! Okay, let's go. Here we are, back at the base, and we have the first problem you'll encounter with your farming. If you're in the meadows, you'll just find graylings, but if you're near a black forest like this, then you're going to have a gray dwarf infestation. So you need to kind of take care of these guys. I like using knives because they're really cheap and easy to make, but we have to protect our farm from these monsters. because First, we'll need a field. So equip your cultivator and then right click, use this cultivate option. And I like to make a circular field just because it's really easy to plant. Now, if you noticed earlier, when you looted these items, they looked like flowers. But now when you plant them, they'll turn into an edible item, a carrot, right? After some time, usually like if you sleep two, day, two days past in the game, Boom! There you go. Now, they're fully grown, and we can pick them. Just like the flowers we found originally. Now that we've looted them, you'll notice you can actually plant those flowers that we originally found. So for every carrot, you can replant it, and then you'll get three more seeds. There we go. Now these are fully grown. And they look exactly like the ones that we found in the Black Forest. We can loot them, and then we get three seeds from each. And basically, you can multiply your entire stock by three. Oh! 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 Oh, that bastard. All right, as you can see, I need more, uh, more defense here. Obviously, our little area here isn't protected well enough. Let's also make some little fences here. So you can use these little round pole fences here, and they're really cheap to make at one wood each. And all you do is just make sort of a perimeter here. Just keep going around. And then we can top it off just by making a little door there. So we can open the door, get into our farm, but the gray dwarfs are gonna have a hard time. Because you get three seeds every time you make a successful generation, that means that you can essentially triple one seed eventually to be many, many seeds. 
And once you pick these nine carrots, you'll then be able to plant nine more flower plants. Here we have our 27 seeds, or actually 30, because I accidentally planted 10 carrots. So now let's plant all of these. Now we have almost 30 carrots. And now if we triple it one more time, we'll have 90 carrot seeds. It starts to get a bit tricky to plant a lot of things at once. It can become really time consuming. So once you've built up your collection of seeds enough, then you'll need to use a different strategy to plant, and this is what I like to do. It takes advantage of these round fields. You start by planting one or three crops in the middle, and then you just sort of run around and look towards the center in these little bursts, like four at a time. This gives your stamina some chance to redo. And what I'm doing is I'm strafing and I'm kind of looking towards the center as I move, just so that we end up filling outward, right? And we have 30 of these, so let's use up all of our seeds here. And here we go, we now have three, six, nine, look at all this, this is enough for 100 carats. And that's the basic idea. What you want to do is just keep tripling them until you've got a stock of around 100. Because then you can start using the carrots to cook and you're not going to use up your whole supply. But if you use up too many of them, then you'll have to go out and go get the carrot seeds or the onion seeds or the turnip seeds again. And that is a pain. So try and keep your supplies high. Everything you've seen with the carrots can also be applied to most of the other crops in the game. And what I like doing is actually growing multiple at once. So you can make these cool sort of spiral patterns, right? Just like this. And then we're gonna use these carrots here and we're gonna kind of fill in this gap. So it'll be like boom. And then you sort of go in a spiral, keep going. There we go, pretty cool. I like the variety, but it really doesn't have the pop yet because we haven't planted any of the seeds. And really you should fill the field with both parts of the life cycle. That way, whenever you need some carrots, you have some around and you don't have to sort of duplicate everything. And the end result will be something like this. You've got flowers and sort of a design. I'm sure you could make something much more pretty than I did, but it adds some variety to your garden and then you'll have plenty of options too close. You really wanna have your farm be in the meadows because troll will wreck this whole farm. So don't do what I did in the video. Make your farm in the meadows, deep in the meadows, away from the black forest. Thanks for watching everybody! I hope you enjoyed this video about the basics of farming in Valheim. If you want to support my work, then please check out my tutorial about setting up your own dedicated server so you can play Valheim with your friends. Also, comment below, like, share these videos, do all that sort of thing if you like them. You know, I don't really like pestering people about this because I just have fun making these videos and if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Either way, I had fun. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.